This one's entitled Painkillers. People see my sadness like it's a manageable disease. Turn compliments into prescription drugs. Every night out, an appointment. Medicate me with noise when all I wanted was silence. And in these moments, when I'm overdosed with the quiet and the delirious, I interrogate my own thoughts. Question them as I lie in bed soaked in sweat with only the faint wear of the electric fan to tell me that I'm still alive. I cross-examine every exit wound, play both the witness and the jury, go through every detail of each presented evidence again and again, searching for clues, searching for traces of alleged self-sabotage. I tend to do that to myself, you know. I anticipate despair even if there's nothing out there. Like how I used to check my closet twice when I was a kid before going to bed, thinking that monsters were lurking. So maybe sometimes that's why I feel as if they're all just inside my head. A self-inflicted melancholia out of nowhere. But my nowhere is everywhere. And I swear to God, I can hear them say, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. As if asking for permission to be felt, to be real, begging for the slightest chance of validation, to be lonely, always needing to ask for the key to this body, to this home, to this repetition, this recurring affliction reduced to, oh, you're sad again. What is it this time? Reduced to there are bigger problems out there. Reduced to you'll be fine. Reduced to you only think about yourself. And in their eyes, I see myself slowly disappear. All of a sudden, it's now okay to make fun of someone's breaking or how other people call it nowadays, a hashtag trend. You don't know how many times I've wished I could just deactivate from the world. Just to escape the throbbing, the swelling self-doubt, this sharp piercing fish bone stuck in the back of my mouth. And when finally I decided that I've had enough and mustered all my strength and tried to fight myself, you should have seen me. You should have seen me how I turned all of my anxieties into a huge fist and put it inside my mouth slowly pushing inwards. I didn't care even after I heard my jaw lock. I didn't care even after I felt my mouth being ripped apart. Its sides burning, my tears trickling down, begging me to stop. But I kept going, kept pushing, up until I choked on it and took it out. I couldn't do it. Now this chronic headache wouldn't go away, so people tell me that I should smile more, go out more, put myself out there more, and not seek comfort in the dark. Tell me how I should feel, how I should be, how I should pace my crazy, like how your mom forces you to chug down consecutive glasses of water just to cure the fever, and even after you tell her that you couldn't anymore, she tells you, but it's for your own good. But this only left me with a belly full of confusion, paralyzed, tied to my bed with the simplest of FB messages sending me seizures. So I made sedatives out of alcohol, <laughs> sought for a light in the brightness of my phone at 3 a.m., <laughs> turned strangers who didn't give a single fuck to high dosage of antidepressants. What I needed were just over the counter, but the symptoms were still there. And all I can hear is, how do you plead? How do you plead? 
To the times you said you were okay and maybe you're just overthinking things, how do you plead? Not guilty. To the times you thought you were sure that this time the universe will be kinder to you but only found yourself vomiting words on the side of the road, intoxicated with frustrations, spitting senseless jokes just to divert the conversation, how do you plead? Not guilty. To the times you cried inside the restroom cubicle, the restroom cubicle, and just wanted to lock yourself in there because everything was just too much. How do you plead? Not guilty. To the times you wanted to tell someone you were lonely, but didn't have the words to explain why. So you kept it all to yourself. How do you plead? Tell me, how do you bleed? See, I thought I needed something potent, like a potentially fatal dose of constantly lying to myself just to fit in. This, this became my morphine. I started to lose myself. My hands didn't feel like hands anymore, clasped in other people's reality. I was worse than lonely. I was numb. I forgot that painkillers were not made to be a cure. I forgot that you don't need a doctor's prescription for self-abuse and I took advantage of this. I forgot that medicine is just a pill away from becoming poison. That I was surrendering to a verdict I thought I deserved. Accepting defeat through a single sentence. And after months of withdrawal, when I finally got to hear the sound of my own voice, the troubling echoes from this hollow, the summation of all my fears, and finally ask, are any of these worth it? Are any of these worth it? And the universe hears you and answers you with the most beautiful people covered in battle scars and tells you yes. Yes, all of this is worth it. You are worth it. You are so much more than this. And you finally whisper, I am here. I am here. I am here. And sometimes this is all you need. Thank you.